have you heard of the statement, don't eat anything with an ingredient you can't pronounce? Or have you seen a post about chemical-free foods? We're 100% sure you have not eaten anything chemical-free. And why is that? If we were to create an ingredients list for apples, how do you think it would look like? It's probably a list of chemicals you'd have trouble pronouncing. Everything around us is made up of chemicals. And yes, that includes your food. Food is something that you eat to sustain bodily functions and give you the energy to do things like watching that cat video from the internet. What are the chemicals in your food? Food is made up of chemicals that are commonly referred to as carbohydrates, proteins, fat, and flavors to name a few. Even water is a chemical. Carbohydrates are chemicals that our bodies use as a main source of energy. Carbohydrates includes sugars, fibers, and many others. This can be found in cereals, fruits, milk, and root crops. Fiber, a form of carbohydrate, can be utilized by the body to sweep the gastrointestinal tract and maintain healthy digestion. Sugar is readily absorbed by the body and is the preferred source of energy. When this compound is not used as energy, our bodies convert it to fats. Lipids, also known as fats, are molecules that are concentrated sources of energy. They provide more than twice the energy sugars contain. This group of chemicals is wide and a lot of components fit here. This includes fats, oils, fatty acids, and waxes to name a few. There are healthy fats and unhealthy ones. This chemical is an integral part of our diet and is needed by our cells. However, it should be taken in proper amounts. Our next food chemical is proteins. Proteins are chemicals dubbed by fitness enthusiasts. They are found in both animal and plant-based foods. This is a chemical polymer of some 21 different amino acids. Out of the 21 amino acids, only 9 are called essential, as the body cannot produce them. Animal-based food products generally contain all these essential amino acids. However, you can also get all the essential amino acids from plant-based foods, and it's a good way to help the environment. Another set of chemicals present in food products is vitamins and minerals. These are minor food components that play an essential role in human nutrition. Vitamins are known to prevent diseases when present in adequate amounts. They are divided into two groups, fat-soluble and water-soluble vitamins. Each vitamin plays a different function in our bodies. Minerals are inorganic compounds that are present in all food products at various amounts. Like vitamins, these are important in maintaining bodily functions. Iron, for example, present in dark green leafy vegetables is needed by the body to produce the protein hemoglobin, important in red blood cells. This protein is our body's carrier of oxygen and carbon dioxide throughout the body. Enzymes are also present in food products. These are molecules that speed up reactions between two compounds or substrates. Pineapple is one fruit with a popular enzyme in it, bromelain. This enzyme is used in meat products as tenderizer, but has several reported health benefits when consumed. Another group of chemicals in your food is color compounds or pigments. These are molecules that absorb and reflect a certain wavelength of light, producing the distinct color of your food. This includes chlorophyll, the green pigment in leaves, carotenoids, the orange colorant in carrots, and anthocyanins found in berries. Flavor chemicals are also found in food products. These molecules are responsible for the aroma of frying bacon or in the baking of bread. They also give the bitter taste of coffee, the spiciness of chilies, and everything that has flavor in it. Flavor compounds are usually fat-soluble and are quite volatile. Additives have had quite a stir in the food industry. These are chemical compounds that are being regulated in food products as some of this may cause harm when consumed excessively. But why do we add them in foods? These compounds are added to extend the shelf life and to improve eating qualities, to name a few. 
all of this are being studied by food scientists around the world. A field in food science, which is food chemistry, deals with what happens with these food components and how they affect your food. This is a vast field of study and an important one so that we get to know what's really in our food. This is just a brief overview of food chemistry. For more videos about this topic, you might enjoy this video about what happens when you add milk to your coffee.